When we want to calculate surface runoff from precipitation, we need to account for the processes of interception, infiltration, and depression storage, which are commonly referred to as rainfall abstractions. Interception is the process by which precipitation is intercepted before reaching the ground surface. Although precipitation can be intercepted by buildings and structures in urban areas, when we talk about interception, we normally mean interception by above-ground vegetation such as trees. Infiltration is the process by which water, could be either rainwater or snowmelt, moves from the surface to subsurface layers of the soil. And the term depression storage refers to the stored water in puddles or surface depressions. In this series of videos, I'm going to introduce you to some of the infiltration models that are commonly used to quantify the infiltration process. Let's start with a simple method called Phi Index Method. Phi Index. The Phi Index Method is a single parameter model that assumes a constant infiltration capacity, Phi, for a watershed. To show you how it works, I am going to sketch a hypothetical rainfall with variable intensity over time. So, if this is delta T, or time interval, this would be the intensity of that rainfall in that interval. And intensities over time. The Phi Index method tells you that there is a constant infiltration capacity, and whenever rainfall intensity is higher than that capacity, you will have surface runoff. So, if Phi Index, or that constant capacity, or Phi, is over here, this area that I'm going over right now is going to be the area of your abstractions And the area on top of that constant capacity, or this area, it's going to be direct runoff. And by the way, this graph that I have sketched for you over here, whenever you have rainfall intensity over time, that's called a hiatograph. Let me write it down for you over here. It's called a hiatograph. Rainfall intensity over time. All right, let's go back to our example. You agree with me that this method is not the most accurate representation of the rainfall, uh, the infiltration process, right? Why is that? Because the infiltration capacity is not constant over time. As soil gets more and more water over time, its infiltration capacity decreases. So the closer to reality infiltration capacity looks like, looks like this. If this is time, and this is intensity, the infiltration capacity is going to look like this. As time passes, it's going to decrease. All right, in part two of this video series, we will explore another method of quantifying infiltration.